uh, it goes something like this. But the point is that during this, after the first test, first final official test, we were we are very high, and then starts the verbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything anymore, even in the letters. <laughs> and I remember this fest. It's very frustrating. Happily and luckily, in the end of this <laughs> study session, something happened. Uh, so this is the longer profile of the experimental group. Uh, no. There are three digs in, in, uh, in the process. The first one starts with the verbs. The second one starts, there's lo there was a uh, longer uh, one month uh, break in, uh, in our curriculum or in our, our yearly Christmas holidays. I don't know anything after one, one month. <laughs> and I'm starting to build again something there, and then uh, the Niffels and whatsoever comes there, and I lose everything again. But luckily, luckily the final final score is quite okay. Uh, it same happened in in, in both groups, and from the individual point of view, one student. And this is not the only only student. In two weeks, can lose almost everything. In two weeks, from the average to barely recognizing any letters anymore, but still going up. Okay, fifth one. The learning profile is boosted by the official tests. Uh, there were three official tests in the first first uh, set. And uh, every time the, after the test, the scores are higher. Most probably because people are, uh, they are, what is the word they are using for the English versions? Uh, they, they are repeating the old material. Yeah. So they are quite high we, level. We yeah. And uh, it's the same happens both ways. Sixth, vocabulary is boosted more than structure. Uh, if if, if uh, compared to the nomin nominal, nominal structures, there is gain, but much more in words and vocabulary. Uh, I don't know why we have written something about this, but this is something which is interesting to know why vocabulary and words are such a thing which get more boosting in this kind of process. Seven, all areas we measured, so structures, verbal morphology, and, and vocabulary, all are affected by the regression effect. So in all areas it happens. Eight, dropout rate was lower in the experimental group. Uh, you said about 30% dropout in, in your... They, they have, I let them study the course individually, yeah, so yeah. they can do it in two years or what, a year and a okay. half, about yeah, 30, okay. but, but 30 those 35. Who are starting, you have the same as we have there in, in Helsinki, used to be, I, I'm mm. not sure anymore, but, uh, mm. but it used to be so that they are adults and it's a holy thing, mm. you, you, you are adults now, you need to, you know what to do with your time. And, uh, but it seems that uh, uh, about 50% of those who started were, were with in the, in the process in the end, uh, but in this, uh, these groups which were in the, ex uh, the experiment, uh, about 30%. But uh, in this, uh, sorry, now I'm, I'm, okay, I'm almost in there. Um, uh, in this uh, second experimental group, where we measured both groups, we, we, we can say that about 10% less 
what's that? Um, uh, the dropout rate. And here it said that halo effect is obvious. It's not obvious, not halo effect. It's, it's Hawthorne effect, which is obvious. Uh, classical, classical Hawthorne effect is that whatever you are doing, it makes change to the experimental group because they are they are feeling that we are important. And it, it was found in all the thought. Anyhow, ten percent is quite okay. Nine. The independent the final test which was independent of this testing process. The final test scores can be predicted on the basis of the test achievements and additional work. Something like 80 per, there's no need for, for final test, <laughs> actually. Yes, we can predict it. If, if you make 14 tests, small tests, we can predict it with accuracy of, of 82%. Uh, but, as you know, notice the, the arrow there, there is one guy who should have get three in the final test, the final test mark is here in, in this side, but the size of the, of, the, of the dot means how many hours those guys used to the, the preparation for the test, and actually he, he made huge, much more work than earlier, so he get five. <laughs> and there's another guy here, this got three, but she would have got uh, five. I don't know why, but, uh, but uh, yeah, or four. So hard work makes something. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> it's not the best so. uh, Okay, and then. We have set of items calibrated in Finnish population. Population. So we have uh, 500 items calibrated. What, it, what do it mean in practice? It means that if we have this kind of uh, uh, 3ET, for example, <laughs> or plot, or whatsoever, uh, if a guy knows the correct answer for gender, I know how good he is or she is. I know exact what kind of mark is predicted for the final test. So that means the uh, item parameter. But the problem is, the challenge is that the, the uh, parameters are, are in the Finnish population. So it would be very nice to get some other guys also in the population to make the same items, the same tests maybe even, but items is good. And then we could get higher or greater population and then whenever a guy make that, this is the plural, we know that, ah, not so many knew that it's plural. Okay, thank you. For that well, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, perhaps uh, we could take questions while you, Daniel, sort of start uh, putting it up, okay? So, the questions for Gary. It's very, very interesting. I would love to see how this would work in Africa, for instance, My, and, and uh, like you, the US and Asia. What well, okay. What's going to happen, yeah? They're and very close to us. Yeah. 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 Uh, questions, if you, I mean, you should. Um, you came from Nepal to answer. <laughs> <laughs> you are very free. <laughs> yes, Klaus has a question for you. I have yeah. a uh, teaching people whose uh, native language is Finnish, yeah. uh, a, a non Indo European language, uh, does that mean that certain grammatical concepts you're talking about there are? are, are, are easier or more difficult for them to learn than, than, than those of us, of us who come from an Indo-European Indo background. I have expert here, also my professor here, also, but uh, I suppose that, that 
point is that the Hebrew language don't belong to any of the European language group. Mm. So we all have the same problems. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. 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 But, but then, you know, the Finnish uh, educational system is uh, worldwide known for scoring a, a, a extremely high. Could that be, how does that influence it? Like the PISA? Uh, I, I, I have I have good explanation for it. We are very 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 uh, old-fashioned in, in Finland. We are very teacher oriented in, in our schools. Of course, we are going other way, but uh, but uh, uh, we really think that we need to make work compared to Swedish guys. They think that they need to talk. They are discriminating. It is it's very yeah. But in Finland, we, we are really pushing a bit the children in our school. They are testing every every month. There is some test, mm -hmm. and we are we are trying to push the children. Any comments on the uh, battle hymn of the tiger mother? Have Sorry? you mm -hmm. do you know what that is? The battle hymn of the tiger mother? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Right. So no comments. But there's another other reason yeah. also, and the reason is for the... Could I have comments from the floor here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to make comments. Uh, the, the people, I teach in Hong Kong. I'm a singer. Yeah, they are very I good. Teach they in are very Kong. good. And uh, when the students come to seminary, they detest any test. <laughs> because they have had more than enough in their um, formal education already. And once they get into seminary, they start... That's it. Don't yeah. give me any more tests. Yes. And tests just put them off. Yeah. So it's, Hong it's Kong, Hong Kong, you are you are really pushing them. Yeah, exactly. You really, yeah, exactly. It's the same yeah. kind of and as in Finland, I suppose. Yeah. At least in should. mathematics, <laughs> we we like the students to know. So we are we are. But to yeah, yeah okay. Uh, just clarification. My course, everything is biblical Hebrew. So I don't use spoken Hebrew, but the differences between modern Hebrew and Biblical Hebrew is really small. It's the same coin. It's the two sides of the same coins. And my students in Biblical Hebrew very often start, in order to consolidate their knowledge, they start to learn modern Hebrew via Biblical Hebrew. Okay. And then they see that we know all the grammar, we know the basic uh, uh, the frequent vocabulary, mm, but in this course, uh, Hebrew, it's not it's not modern Hebrew. It could be similarities because they are there. Come and, and enjoy the um, one of the um, important centers of learning here in, the, in, in London and Britain, and for uh, an hour and a half or something like that. And then afterwards, we will do a Vietnamese uh, restaurant and try to be very social. Yeah. Anyway, so we will probably uh, go with each other in the underground and, and um, we'll, we'll um, start uh, there at, at um, uh, 6 o'clock. It's, uh, it's close to Old Street uh, underground station. Uh, yeah, if I was assuming I would take you across. Yes, terrific, yeah. Right, then we, I don't even have to worry.